In this problem, we need to find how many grams of phosphorus we have in 49.7 gram of the phosphorus oxide. This is a slightly different problem compared to what we have been doing before, where we're trying to find the percentages of the element in the molecule, while here we need to find how many gram of that element, in this case phosphorus, we have in the specific amount of the sample. How can we do this? There are two approaches how you can solve this problem, and we're going to discuss them both. So first, uh, let's think about the molecule. So if I try to represent the molecule as a box, so let's say this is the phosphorus and this is the oxygen. Some specific amounts, and depending what is the percentage of each, and if I take another sample of the same molecule, I put phosphorus here, just mark it in blue, and if I take the oxygen, and hypothetically, let's say if this is 60%, uh, then we have 40% of the phosphorus, this is just hypothetically, it doesn't have to be these numbers, uh, what we need to understand that it doesn't matter how much of the sample you have. If the phosphorus is 40%, then it is always going to be 40%. So if this is 10 gram and this is 30 grams, it doesn't matter. The phosphorus is still going to be 40% and the oxygen is still going to be 60% as in this sample same it doesn't matter how much water we have if it's one gram one liter or 10 liters or 10 gallons the amount the grams the masses of the hydrogen and oxygen is always going to be the same in h2o now so why is this important in our uh, problem well so let's think about this this will be our first approach. In order to find how many grams of the phosphorus we have, we can do this. We can first find what is the percentage of the phosphorus in the oxide. And in order to do it, we're going to take two moles of the phosphorus and divide it by the molar mass of the oxide times 100%. So this is equal to 62.0 grams per mole divided by the molar mass, which is 142 grams per mole times 100%. So this gives us 43.7% phosphorus. Now, so this number was just as an example it's pretty close though, but so the real number is this. So we have 43.7% of phosphorus in any given sample of the phosphorus oxide. Now, um, in order to find how many grams of phosphorus we have in this sample, what we can do is we can take the mass of this sample. So let's try to do this way. So mass of the phosphorus is equal to the mass of the oxide multiplied by this number so 0.437 this is just the easiest way how to convert the percentages and so if we do this multiplication we are going to get 21.7 gram of phosphorus in this sample so you can you can do uh, the calculation just to check and make sure you will see that the 21.7 gram corresponds to 43.7% of this number. So 49.7 gram of the sample has 21.7 gram of phosphorus because the percentage is always the same, no matter what sample we have, how much of the sample we have. And this will be our first approach. And for the second approach, what we can do is we can write down that, so let's put it here, so two, this is our second approach. We can write down that every 142 gram of the phosphorus oxide, this is the molar mass, 
contains how many grams of phosphorus. So the molar mass of the phosphorus is 31. We have two phosphorus. We can write down 62 grams. Just based on the masses, 142 grams contains 62 grams of phosphorus. Now what we can do is we can say, so what about if we have 49.7 gram of phosphorus oxide? And this will be our unknown. So X grams of phosphorus. How do we do this? Um, this is cross multiplying. So just multiply these two numbers here. And then this with the X. So what we'll have is that 142x is equal 62.0 times 49.7 and x will be 62.0 times 49.7 divided by 142 so this should give us the um, 20, 21.7 grams of phosphorus in that match of the sample. 49.7 gram of the oxide will contain 21.7 gram of phosphorus. We can use both approaches to solve this problem. And uh, if you have questions, leave them below. And if you like the video, please subscribe to our channel and visit chemistrysteps.com for more chemistry practice exercises, lectures, discussions, and um, some more stuff.